yeah. I like this uh, transition here from that topic to this one. I feel like we have to lighten up the mood. Departing Hong Kong residents fly their pets out of the city on private jets. These are private pet jets. I, I think one of the companies actually called Pet Jet. Uh, owners pay up to $26,000 for chartered flights as COVID rules limit commercial airline services. Apparently, oh, the, the, the jet is called Dog Express. And look at his outfit, by the way. He got the pilot shirt on. Mm -hmm. I don't think anybody, How did he get that? I don't think anybody told him he's not flying. <laughs> yeah. like he's, not, I, he's not in control. Man, that dog kind of looks like my dog. Kind of, yeah. Which is weird because my dog is not a Shiba, but it... I just realized how much she Got looks the like. the markings, yeah. I just realized how much she looks like one. Actually, no. You know what the difference is? Under the eyes. Those black dots under the eyes? Yeah, she, they're not existent on your dog. Nope, she doesn't have those. It kind of, the white blends into the cheek. Yes, you're yeah. right. You're correct. But her uh, posture and build is almost, it's very similar. Mm. Anyway, uh, Caviar flew from Hong Kong to the UK. That's, I guess, the name of this dog here. On a Dog Express jet in December, the pet travel company has three private jet flights scheduled in the coming months. They just pack it full of uh, dogs, uh, uh, cats. Uh, I think they even said some rabbits. I'm guessing they get their own seat. <laughs> I guess. Right? I don't know. They're flying better than They're we are. They're definitely not in a cage. Oh, that's a good point. You don't like the cage. I mean, what if they hurt each other? Uh... Right? Well, they probably got like a leash. They probably can't move around too, too much. Yeah. I don't know. I don't know. Well, I don't know the answer. Well, they're, they're, they're very... really expensive dogs, so they might have etiquette. <laughs> Royalty etiquette. Oh, they're like well-trained? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Well, the ticket, if the ticket's worth 27, 26 grand, yeah. uh, I would assume they have a system for making sure the dogs don't kill each other because you just pay 26 grand and move them somewhere. Sure, yeah. Um, the city has a zero COVID regime which has led to soaring cargo rates and flight cancellations. People are grouping together to use private jets at a cost of about 25665 for each owner, what their pet company, companies and individuals say. So I guess, do they get to go on with their pet, or is it just the pet itself? I guess it doesn't really matter. It's expensive. Uh, according to Chris Phillips, there's a huge demand. People want to get their pets back, and I guess they've already moved, uh, left Hong Kong. So cats, dogs, and rabbits are making their way to a number of countries, primarily the UK, Australia, and Canada. Hmm. So, uh, that's a long way. I guess a long way for a dog to fly. Hong Kong to Canada. Vancouver yeah. is not that far. I mean, oh, what is right. that, like yeah, ten, ten, right. ten hours right. or something? Maybe not even. Uh, Australia no. would be far. Uh, from Hong Kong, it's okay. Oh, really? Uh, well, we, we, we flew into Hong Kong last time we were there. What, what was it? Even from here, it wasn't that long. It was like 11. No, maybe not even. Wait a sec. It must only be from Vancouver to Hong Kong must only be like six hours or something. Maybe seven. Right. Pacific. Let's yeah. get to the bottom of this. Cause, cause, cause now oh, that boy. we're here, people are very upset. Okay. So just Hong Kong to Vancouver. I mean, we flew into there. We need to know this type of thing, but I don't remember. Did we have a stopover in Vancouver? No, we went straight. It's 11 hours. What? Nonstop. What? Yeah, it's far, dude. Hang on a second. Hang on a second. Can I think our flight was okay, like give us, 12 give us, hours. Dude, let's do Toronto. Toronto, Hong Kong. Connecting. Those are all connecting. <laughs> now we're just searching for flights. We can't even go to Hong Kong. Uh, I think Cathay Pacific, pa Cathay Pacific does a direct. Or maybe because of COVID, they don't do it anymore. I don't think that, I don't think they do it. That's what we did, man. Don't you remember? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I remember the flight. I it wasn't. It was like over ten hours. That's for we sure. were direct. We were direct though, right? Yes. Okay, so we went direct from here, and it was probably like well, I guess if it must have been like thirteen hours or something around there, yeah. And then from Vancouver is like ten, ten sure. or eleven or something. Anyway, okay, you're right. It's a long flight for a dog, but I don't think the dog cares. Dogs just sleep, right? On, uh, on a private jet, the dog probably getting food and... Yeah, they're having a it's probably doggy time. entertainment on there, on a TV. Uh-huh. So. Watching Homeward Bound. <laughs> Wait, doesn't the dog die in that or something? Yeah. Oh, don't, you don't want to, don't a, show him that. A, don't yeah. show him that. It's 
Mostly feel good. Anyway, people are pay- well, willing to pay tremendous amounts of money to try to get their pets out of Hong Kong right it's now. It's a cool experience. That's the that's the story of the day. Uh, as far as why people are getting out of Hong Kong, I guess it's a political component to it, COVID yeah. component to it. There's a lot to it. Will's not going there. He switched subjects already. 